Okay, you guys, I'm just gonna do this little bull terrier real quick, but you know, I want you to understand this behavior is not gonna go away in this dog either. But if you said, how long did it take you? It, it took time. It took a month just to get it to pick something up. And so then I built it up from there. But once you get to a certain point, I think that's what people need to understand. There's a certain saturation point of behaviors where it becomes permanent. It's, it's a saturation point, though, where you have allowed this behavior to become big -er than a lot of other behaviors that the dog had. Bigger. It was already there. If you said, well, it would already pick things up. I, you have an old video of it was running and shaking a toy. Uh, and I do. I found there was an old video where he would just do something called a neck break and shake. And if you said, what do you mean? Oh, that's what they do. Oh, he'd be good at the little ratter thing. I'll see if it was one of those ones that had to find rats or something. That's what they used him for, I think. I'll get it. Yay. He said, why did you say yay? I, I do think you should talk to him. But you should do it in very micro cues. But the reason I got this dog out to do it was to show that I don't care how unlikely. If you said, please. Roddy Kirk puts, has got about four, five, six, seven of these with him. He can run blind retreat. Please stop it. Yeah, we already, they already have one dog, Jill. Oh, and I, I want you to know there's a guy, Jamie, now that, that's Mike's uh, client. And he now can get the delivered hand and stuff, too. So I told Mike, I said, oh, Jamie's, uh, you're Jill. Mike has turned into me. He doesn't realize it. He now drives a van, wears a hoodie, and walks around with packs of German Shepherds. Anyway, that's where we're at. I think this is very, very overt. I'm very deliberate about how I put the collar on without looking at the dog. And then I'm gone. If you said, well, what I do after I put the collar on is I say, goodbye. Don't do that. Do not add physical postscripts to anything. <laughs> Don't add physical postscripts. That's, that's all I can say to people. They want to end it. They want to start things. A rib slap. Go get them. Boy. You slap, but don't touch me. If I say, listen, I'm concentrating. If I was a dog that was getting ready to go get somebody, just don't touch me. I know where you're at. You don't have to slap me in the ribs to let me know where you are. I'm so over it. Hi, Timothy. Anyway, what I've got is my Halloween thing. So, and I haven't worked with the dog, but there is a saturation point where things become permanent. So that's what you're going for. And if you said, well, how long is that? Not two weeks. tried to, and I didn't prep him at all. I just came out cold and did this exercise. You're, you're losing out. You said, well, you should have just gone, go, go, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. It's not surviving, but still. So that this behavior is permanent in this dog. That's what I want you to understand. If you said, well, who else could anybody could get him to do it? It's permanent. Hi, Timothy. I'll be right back. 
I'm, I'm, in fact, I'm going to be right back with Brody the Wonder Puppy. And I want you to start doing some of these things with uh, Taco. Taco, you, you can be doing the head start with Taco at your house. Be right back.